Today I'm going to show you what's inside of a power steering pump and how it works to provide pressure to the power steering rack on your car. Now the power steering pump is located on the back of the engine here and is driven off of the crank through the serpentine belt. Now over here on the back of the engine we have this low pressure line that goes back to the reservoir and we have the high pressure line that goes out to the power steering rack. And over here on the steering rack this is where the high pressure hose leads to and the return line goes back to the reservoir. Now the power steering pump is held to the engine block by these two 14 millimeter bolts. So now I can remove the power steering pump from the back of the engine here. All right, so here's the power steering pump removed. I've got this union bolt here that I'm gonna remove. So here I've got the power steering pump removed from the vehicle. This is where this high pressure line will hook up and that'll go out to the steering rack. Then on this side here, it goes back out to the reservoir. And this here is where the pressure line comes in. It connects to the pressure port union and over here you have your high pressure switch. Now if I unscrew this and we have a closer look at it here, see those two small tiny little holes? That's where the oil will flow through. Now underneath your pressure port union you have your flow control valve and a spring that sits inside of here. And it's invisible right now because it went flying and I lost it when I opened this port. Now I'm going to remove the 17 millimeter pulley nut. Okay, now I'm going to remove this pulley. Now I'm going to unbolt this line here. Oh, I busted it off. Now I can remove this return line. Now there's four 12 millimeter bolts that hold the back of the pump casing to the housing here, so I'm going to remove that next. All right, and now I'm gonna pop off the rear housing and we can see just what's inside. Now inside of here, you can see the heart of the power steering pump. Now it is coated in transmission fluid, so I'm just gonna use my brother's sock here and just clean that up. So if we take a closer look at how this thing works here, you can see that the pump housing has this shape on the outside here, and that corresponds to the inlet side that comes from the reservoir. Now power steering fluid will enter the pump through here and go into the pump housing over here. Now once fluid is inside of this chamber here, you have your central shaft, which is located in the middle, and then you have this eccentric cam shape on the outside here, and that has two pockets that are formed on the outside because of that shape. Now inside of here, you have the rotor, and it has these little veins on it that can move in and out. Now, while this is turning at engine RPM with centrifugal force, what's gonna happen is these veins are gonna push out against this outside stator here, and that's going to form these little pockets. Now, fluid will enter the center chamber through both outsides here, and that's gonna to correlate to this area over here. And if this is rotating this way, that means that these chambers are slowly expanding with volume as it rotates. As you can see, when I rotate it here, what's gonna happen is this chamber is going to become a little bit larger, and then as I rotate it a little bit more, it's going to try squeezing that fluid as these veins push back in. That volume inside of that pocket there becomes less, and it creates a high pressure zone pushing the power steering fluid out the high pressure port. Now the same phenomenon is repeated on the other side, so essentially you have a dual action pump where there's two high pressure sides and two low pressure sides, and that creates the flow of power steering fluid. Now there's a little tiny snap ring I'm going to remove. Ooh, that went flying. And then now I can push out this shaft here. And now I can remove the rotor there. And you can see it's got all of the little veins on them. Now these veins are free to move in and out. There's no spring or anything holding them in. Now inside of the rear housing here, we have this side plate and that just sits on top of the cam over here. And then we've got a wave washer that sits on top of that to put a little bit of pressure and keep it all nice and together. On the front here, we have a garter spring seal. You can see this is the spring that'll seal around the shaft. And then of course there's the rubber that seals it. And inside of there is the bearing material that the shaft rides up against. And then what's left on the front housing is we have the cam here. And then we've got all of these little passages inside of here that oil will flow through. I'm just going to clean that up with my brother's sock so we can have a closer look. Now how the pump housing works is we've got low pressure fluid that comes from the reservoir and it fills the outside of this area here with fluid and then that'll get sucked underneath this cam here and when you take this off you can see it'll get pressurized as we stated earlier and then it will go out through these larger holes out to the power steering rack. Now power steering pumps are self-regulating and that's done through a flow control valve that usually sits inside of here. You can see it's got access to both your high pressure side and your low pressure side lines. Now when your pump spins up at higher engine RPM, it's gonna create more flow and you don't necessarily need all that pressure at higher RPM, so what this valve is gonna do is it's gonna open up, take some of that high pressure and point it back to the low pressure side so it gets recycled into the pump instead of going back out to your rack. Now the flow control valve works is we've got this ball and spring inside here and it prevents low pressure fluid from escaping to the high pressure side, so it's like a one-way valve. Now when high pressure fluid flows through here, it's gonna push against this ball and this spring, which has a certain calibrated amount of force to allow only a certain amount of pressure through to the 
the high pressure union. The rest of that fluid will escape out through the low pressure side to be recycled into the rotor again. Now the flow control valve can be modified in order to regulate the flow inside of here so you could either increase or decrease power steering boost. And that's pretty much the guts of your power steering pump and how it works on your car. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this one.